Uh, you did a, obviously an entire show about this. Obviously, you said that you did shows uh, on views that need to be expressed. Uh, so let's move beyond that uh, for a moment. You're now running for U.S. Senate. What about the 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 uh, theory, not the theory, excuse me, but the legislation that's actually out there? Do you support the view that there should be a ban on puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones, physical sex change surgeries for children under 18? Where do you stand on that? My big issue with the whole transgender movement with kids is it's based on false science. Let me give you a number that's going to blow your mind, David. 85% of young children who say they're transgender will go back to their biologic sex if they're just loved and let be. So, you know, Johnny will walk around in mommy's shoes for a while and then she, he'll figure it out and go back to the way he was biologically conceived. And that's an important observation because the opposite happens when you, in get, when you interfere with the process, endorse, embrace, you get social workers and nurses involved. You start offering medications and more permanent treatments, which I think don't have a, a role to play in young children because they can't actually be involved in this issue as much as you may think. The fact that we've censored thought here and not allowed people who have expertise in the area to be heard, in fact, quite the opposite, they get censored and canceled for voicing their opinions is shameful. It's the same kind of right. process that occurred when Fauci went after scientists who didn't agree with his mandates. When you mix politics and medicine, you get politics. We cannot hurt our children by doing that again. Right. Are, are you for a ban, though, on puberty blockers, or you're saying you want to take a wait-and-see approach? Well, I would not. I, I want a doctor to make a decision with the patient, but I'm very dubious of giving young children puberty blockers, surgery, or anything else. I mean, I can't imagine scenarios uh, where that would be welcome. But I don't want to interfere with doctors and parents working together. Okay. This is a kind of issue as a physician I feel very strongly about. This is a precious covenant that we have there. You bet. Uh, on abortion, I know 